So, Sergey, I think it's me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go my... ahead, please. People eager to know what's about COVID-19, how to interfere with it. Yes, it's your keynote speech. Thank you. So I'll, I'll be touching a lot of the things actually that the two last panels touch. I'll just put it full screen. So I have five slides. It'll be very fast. I hope it works. Um, I think it's already seen my screen. Let me just put this in a way that is full screen. Um, and I'll put this. Yeah, everyone can see, I think. Uh, yeah, so I believe that COVID-19 is a chance to build the new cities ABC Magna Carta. Um, and what I mean by this is, is a concept that I've been working with Professor Yu Xiang, that is as well one of the, the speakers in this conference. And the idea is that the Magna Carta was a platform or a, actually a, a, a charter of liberties that was done 800 years ago. And I believe that especially for AR and as well the technology of smart cities, blockchain and AI, are the new Magna Carta of the 21st century. And we need this increasingly to tackle the problems of COVID-19. And COVID-19 is just kind of a, the sum of the parts of a lot of problems we're facing nowadays, but it's as well an opportunity and all the challenges and we need to look at this. So I think you know about me. So we all live in cities right now. Cities are the epicenter of humanity's social models. And more than the world economy is becoming more focused and more centralized around cities than actually around countries. If you see, London is probably a huge part of the UK economy. And as well, for instance, most of the unicorns in Europe are actually based in London. If you go to New York, it's a huge part of the world economy, especially the US economy. Hong Kong, the same. Shanghai. So we have more and more, not only the people, 70% of the world population is going to be in cities uh, in the next 50 years, or probably 80. And, but we have as well the most of the wealth, the technology and the development is around cities and the uh, epicenter. So we have right now to look at all this technology that we're talking about and the, that this conference is, is uh, leading and the topics and as well the explorers and interesting in seeing how can we apply this reality. So the COVID-19 kind of uh, put uh, a lot of fragility uh, infrastructure that we had on the spot. So the lack of digital transformation. So for instance, we have a paradox that most of the world population, um, you have, have a phone, okay, 80%, even in Africa, 80% has a smartphone or 90. If you go to Western world, 100% in some countries. But the irony is that we have a challenge that the, the financial industry is mostly digitalized, digitized, but the world economy is still paper. So the biggest uh, technology we have in the world is still paper. So the challenge is how can we look at putting the paper digital, first of all, and that's where technologies like blockchain and AI are critical, and how we can actually leverage this. So that's the idea of this. So we have a global context of we have uh, 4.5 billion people don't even have access to toilets still. We have still 2 billion people that have not access to countries that are eastern countries like US and Europe. And then, of course, you have uh, cities that are growing, but we have still a lot of challenges. So I think COVID-19 just took this upside down and created a huge uh, challenge, but as well opportunity. So for instance, before COVID-19, if you look at uh, the world debt, for instance, the world debt, according to Bloomberg, is around $275 trillion, okay? But after COVID-19, probably will be another $100 million, billion, trillion on the top of this. So just the US put around $6 trillion in the economy, and of course, this is creating a problem. Okay, we have right now this money that is coming because of the challenge with COVID-19, where we have most of the world population stopped because of quarantine, or at least in panic because of healthcare. And of course, we have a lot of issues in terms of geopolitics and a lot of things. But at the same time, we have right now an urgency to become digital. So a lot of things that governments were going very slow, they were afraid of touching. Now they have to go. The, this model that I've been building in terms of looking at a city strategy to manage COVID-19 impact. And it looks for looking at the cities and the nation's top level strategy, looking at narrative, timeline, short term, middle term, long term, and as well looking how can we look at government policies, how can you look at financial institutions, how can you look at education, and putting all of this together in a way that it creates a new empowerment model using a smart Keynesian concept by Alan Mayo, uh, the, the idea of the approach to the economy that brings the circular economy thesis as basis, but as well looks at all the things that uh, most of the people in this conference are talking from artificial intelligence to machine learning and take it 
two real case studies that can accelerate innovation and accelerate solutions. And I think this is particularly important because if you look at this right now, for instance, if you look at most of the world population is living for less than $500 per month. So from a money perspective, it's not so difficult to tackle most of the problems of humanity. The biggest challenge we face is the perception between countries, the perception of the concept of money, and of course, technology as the driver, and as well right now, the new oil of the 21st century. Actually, the oil actually melt down in terms of uh, investment as we had it as well, because people are not traveling as much as we have. So I think this as well, most of like the, the panel that we were uh, listing before, most of the panelists right now are working from all over the world. Most of them are working in jail, different locations. And actually they can work from home or have different teams around the planet working in massive conceptual projects or research, or even uh, projects that are managing billions of dollars but as well uh, in a very simplistic way. So we can actually apply these new technologies to the economy and take it faster. And I think that's kind of the, what I've been working in terms of this strategy and now COVID-19 is an accelerator and an opportunity for this. And I think on this, we have to look at four angles, the environment, infrastructure, mobility, energy strategy angle, the quality of living, education, healthcare and community, the government and leadership, and all the things in terms of social empowerment, and of course, the business industry, economic investment, financial strategies. So if you put these four angles together, we can actually create a better society and as well accelerate a lot of innovation and a lot of the fixing some of the problems we, we, we are handling. And I believe that this can be done better for cities and actually through countries, because the cities can actually um, get communities that can work together and let's say someone in Moscow, like we have people here in this conference or in Singapore or me in London or someone in Kenya or someone in, in the US can all be collaborating like we are in this conference and creating quite a lot of insights and network. So I think this is where we need to accelerate things. And as well, of course, for this, we need to, and I think that's probably the biggest challenge we have is how do you look at data? And data, of course, is the but as well as it needs to be regulated, it needs to be private, it needs to be in a way that serves us and we're not actually managed by data. So we need to enhance uh, smart cities infrastructure technology. And when I touch about smart cities is a matrix in the sense of just creating smart governance, smart manufacturing, smart buildings, and uh, accelerate this to just create better productivity and actually manage better resources. And I think if you get this, we can actually create a lot of, uh, um, first of all, economy of scale, Second, save a lot of money and a lot of energies, and at the same time, improve and locate solutions. For instance, if everyone, all the researchers in the universities worldwide would be working together, for sure, in terms of data, we would be solving COVID-19 much faster than we are right now. So we know this in theory, now we need to put it in practice. And I think I'm, I'm finishing, I will just uh, get this slide and this will be available afterwards, is that, so we have from April 2020 to April 2021, I think right now on the top level, we have a few models like blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer and AI to accelerate circular economic models and so forth. And if you look at all the challenge here on the red, that is the, the toxic environment, the economic and financial recession, all these things. But if you manage this, and if you look that we need a percentage of money to solve the problems, we can accelerate this and create a better system in terms of work models and streams. And that's what I've been working with the Project Cities ABC, but as well in my research as academic and as well with network of researchers like Professor Yu Xiang and a lot of universities like Edinburgh and others in the around the world. So that's it. Um, I wish everyone to keep safe. And I think there's a lot of opportunities. Of course, this is uh, tricky days, but I think events like this conference and Digital Week is a great opportunity for us to listen and to find solutions for this.